Hey, what's going on everybody? Just uh, out for a walk on my lunch break. I gotta say, I've been a little bit of a rut lately. Haven't been getting out, doing as much walking. Haven't actually run since Sunday's race, or no, Saturday's race. Today's Thursday. I don't know, I wanted to take a couple of extra days recovery after that one, because I kind of felt like um, my, my knee and my foot were a little bit sore. But, you know, then it just kind of slipped into a couple of extra days on top of the couple of extra days. So here we are Thursday. Uh, I'm going to get out after work today, though, and go for a nice one. But, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, to touch base today because, man, it's, uh, I've, been seeing, I've been seeing a lot of videos coming up on my, on my stream lately where it seems like we've got even more long-term vegans, uh, animal rights activists and stuff that are, um, you know, seriously debating, seriously considering returning back to eating animals uh, as, an, as a quick way to, uh, to help out with some issue that they're having, uh, some digestive issue or um, recovery issue that they're having. And I'm not going to name any names in this one because no one has come out and said that they're going to do anything just yet. And uh, I know that one of the people is, is actually uh, an extremely distraught about the thought that they might have to, in, in, in their perception of things, might have to resume eating some animal products just to get in the, the, the caloric density, just to get in some of that so that they can... Um, you know, get back on the path to wellness, if you will. So, I'm not going to name any names, but, you know, I did want to just kind of put in my two cents. Uh, I guess the question is, is it ever okay to eat animal products if it means that you're recovering from, you know, some serious illness or maybe an eating disorder or something like that? so that you can regain your strength to, to you know, do that on a short-term basis. Use it as a quick fix, if you will, so that you can get back into a place where you can start feeling healthier. Um, and it's not that the animal products themselves are necessarily bringing you health, but like I say, just getting the, getting the calories in to get the, um, to, to rebuild some of that system so that you can then get into uh, I don't know, recovery, wellness, health, whatever. And, you know, I know there's probably quite a few people who are going to say, well, maybe, I don't know, you know, under these conditions, under those conditions, and, you know, if it's a matter of life and death and blah, blah, blah. I do actually believe that if it were in a matter of life and death survival situation, you know, you're out, you're stranded, you're starving, no edible plants available or maybe you're in a uh, northern environment or something happens where uh, maybe you're stranded at sea and you've got to catch a fish somehow and I could see that that's a life and death I'm not gonna make uh, I have no qualms with that scenario because that's a it's just that's that's the extreme measure but I can't I cannot justify even as a temporary quick fix sort of thing, I cannot justify the consumption of animals in a journey of health and wellness, in a journey of recovery. I just can't do it. It doesn't mean that I'm going to hate this person or these people if they do those things. But, wow, I just, I just can't accept that that is the only option. You know, I just can't accept that and maybe it is, and maybe, um, you know, without uh, just hospitalization and, 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 I don't know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not claiming to be a doctor. You shouldn't follow my advice if you're looking for health. I, that's not what I'm here for. That's not where my, my stance is. I'm not going to, coming from a, a place of health when I say these things, I'm coming from a place of ethics and, and my strong conviction that animal lives are not ours for the taking. Uh, again, unless you're in some survival situation, but I mean, fuck, if I was about to die, like, you know, I, I couldn't allow myself to starve to death. But 
Yeah, I just, I'm hoping that anybody before they go back to incorporating small amounts of animal products to get certain fats or certain nutrients because they digest better for them or to get uh, certain caloric needs met, I hope that before people go to these extremes, to these lengths, um, that, they, that they truly, truly, truly have exhausted every single potential possibility because I would, I would never be able to justify that to myself. And boy, that would be tough if later on you, you, you second-guessed yourself and you're questioning like, wow, was that really necessary? You'd have to live with that forever. You'd have to live with that decision. You'd have to live with that conscious decision to have eaten animals maybe out of desperation, but maybe just out of convenience or some sort of some subconscious uh, desire and, and that you've, you've fallen into that sort of trap of that cyclical um, justification process where, you know, if you, if you look for something, if you look for the, <laughs> the morality in an action, you can just about justify it and find the, you can find a right way to do the wrong thing in just about any scenario. If you're like, oh, the ends justify the means, or, you know, if you're trying to justify something, it's easy to, uh, you know, you're going to find what you seek, right? I mean, I think we know that, and that doesn't just come with, uh, this doesn't just come with rationalizing or trying to make yourself feel good about doing something it comes in just about every aspect of our lives that we can we can rationalize and find the okay in just about anything so anyway I, I guess I'm starting to ramble now I, I think that was just my point I, I can't I can't justify eating animal products for any reason unless you know perhaps absolute life and death day 10 no food survival situation but so I'm just, this is, this is not a call out. This is not even like an angry video. This is not really anything other than just hoping that if my friends, colleagues, acquaintances, whoever, who are getting into a situation where they think they might need to do this, that they really just are truly taking as much time to think it over, exploring all possibilities as possible, because uh, I would, man, I, I, it would be hard to live with myself if I had made the decision to resume eating animals and then was second guessing that later or was just knowing that I had to deal with that for the rest of my life. Uh, the guilt would be just unreal and probably unbearable. So anyway, just some thoughts on that topic. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. <laughs> Sorry if I've depressed the shit out of you. Really wasn't my intention. Just wanted to get some, some random thoughts out. I was out for my walk on my lunch break here, enjoying some fresh air. So thanks very much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.